What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Ad TV. Today we are doing a full spec comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the S21 Plus. Both fantastic devices and both of them look great and we're going to go ahead and go over the specs. Now I just provide you with the specs and everything about these phones and I leave it for you to decide which one you might want to pick up. Should you go with the new bad boy of the year or last year's uh, S21 Plus. So let's jump down into it, shall we? Before we do, subscribe, like, and share, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so both of them fantastic devices, uh, both big devices, and very fast and very snappy on either one of them. So as far as dimensions go, we're gonna start off with the S21, and you get a 6.36 inches tall. You get 2.98 wide and 0.31 Thin, so it is a little bit of a smaller device compared to the S22 Ultra. It weighs at about 705 ounces, covered in corn and Gorilla Glass Victus, and IP68 water and dust resistance. You do get your in-display fingerprint sensor as well, and it is the uh, ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, not optical. Going on over to the S22 Ultra, now definitely more of a bigger phone, 6.43 inches tall and 3.07 wide and 0.35 thin. So it is a bit of a bigger phone compared to the S21 uh, Plus. Covered in Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus over here, it comes in at weighing about 8.04 ounces. So it's definitely heavier than the S21 Plus. And of course, both of these devices are front and back glass with the armor aluminum over here on the S22, while over here you just get the regular uh, aluminum frames on the S21 Plus. Again, IP68 water and dust resistance over here on the Ultra, and you do get the S Pen when it comes down to dimensions and extra stuff that you get on the Ultra as well. So very, very nice. Again, you get the in display fingerprint sensor, which is ultrasonic. And I think that the uh, fingerprint sensor or the software is definitely faster on the Ultra since uh, the S21, I'd always get some misreads and it won't unlock your phone, especially if you just wash your hands and stuff. Very finicky over here. And I find that the uh, Ultra, I have not had any issues unlocking this. It's been an absolute champ. You get uh, facial recognition on both of these as well. So that's great news right there. So either one of them are going to be really great when it comes down to uh, uh, dimensions and size and build quality. They're both really nice feeling phones. And uh, going back to that stylus, you do uh, get that uh, very nice features as far as being able to sign documents, draw and stuff. And the latency has been reduced from like 9 point milliseconds or from last year to 2.8. So it is definitely a lot faster, especially when you're scrolling through stuff and writing and drawing. The S Pen is a lot better this year and you do get that extra perk on the S22 Ultra. Going on over to displays, the S22 has a 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display, 120 hertz supports HDR10+, and it goes all the way up to 1750 nits peak brightness. So that's fantastic. You get a resolution of 1440 by 3088 with 500 pixels per inch again covered in corning gorilla glass victus and you do get an always on display and your in display fingerprint sensor going on over to the s21 plus you get a 6.7 inch dynamic amoled display again 120 hertz hdr10 plus and it comes in about 1300 nits peak brightness so both are still fantastic displays and very bright, but the Ultra is going to get brighter than the S21 Plus. Again, 1080p by 2400, so you get a higher resolution on the Ultra than you do on the 21 Plus. And you get about 394 pixels per inch, covered in Corning Gorilla as Victus, like I mentioned earlier, and always on display, as well as your in-display um, fingerprint sensor. And like I said, fingerprint sensor definitely working a lot better for me over here on the Ultra. Now, both of these are running Android 12 One UI. Now, uh, 
The 21 Plus is running Android 12 One UI 4.0, while over here on the Ultra is the newer One UI 4.1. And there are a little bit of differences here, uh, but not much, just a little bit of aesthetics as far as how things look on here. They look a little bit more better on the Ultra. And, uh, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same when it comes down to how they both perform. They're both fantastic. I think Samsung definitely has Android 12 polished even more than Google. When it comes down to issues, there are no issues on either one of these. They perform flawless uh, compared to the Google Pixel 6 to where it had issues. And as you can see, there are some differences as far as the color palette and wallpapers and styles. It does look a little bit different on the Ultra than it does on the S21. And like I said earlier, both of them are running Android 12, so that's fantastic. Over here on the Ultra, you do get the Snapdragon uh, 8 Gen 1, which is the newest and latest from Qualcomm. You get 12 gigabytes of RAM, and this is the 256 gigabyte variant. GPU is going to be the uh, Adreno 730. And so you get more updated specs over here on the Ultra. Going on over to the S21 Plus, you get the Snapdragon 888. With the Adreno 660, this is the 8 gigabyte 128 storage variant of the S21 Ultra. They do go all the way up to 512. Of course, the uh, Ultra goes all the way up to one terabyte storage. No micro SD card support on either one of these, unfortunately. So keep that in mind that when you purchase one of these, you're going to want to get the highest storage that you can. And that uh, will suit you suit your needs as far as storage wise because you cannot expand the storage on either one of these uh, the s21 plus has ufs storage 3.0 and so does the ultra now when it comes down to uh, cameras both of these are going to be uh, very different in the camera department but they perform pretty much almost the same as far as picture quality samsung's cameras have gotten a lot better over the years Going on over to the uh, S22 Ultra, you get a 108 megapixel main sensor, aperture of f1.8. You do have the PDAF, laser autofocus, optical image stabilization. Everything is packed into these cameras. You get a 10 megapixel periscopic telephoto lens, which is gonna be down here, aperture of f4.9. And then you also get, uh, with that, tele that telephoto lens, uh, it is uh, up to 10 times optical zoom, and it does have optical image stabilization. You also get another uh, telephoto lens, which is a, uh, a three times optical zoom, aperture of f2.4, and then finally your ultra wide, which is an aperture of f2.2, and it does have, I believe, 120 degree field of view. Your front facing camera is going to be a 40 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.2. You can record all the way up to 8K video recording over here on the Ultra and uh, 4K 60 on the front as well. So that's fantastic news in the camera department. Definitely updated camera specs over here on the Ultra. Going on over to the S21, you get a 12 megapixel main sensor aperture of f1.8. Uh, you still get the super steady video and uh, optical image stabilization and stuff like that, PDAF. You got a 64 megapixel telephoto lens and that comes in at a three times hybrid zoom, one times optical zoom, and that has an aperture of f2.0. You also get a 12 megapixel ultra wide with an aperture of f2.2. Again, 120 degree field of view on there. Front facing camera is going to be a 10 megapixel camera after FF 2.2. And uh, you can record all the way up to 8K again on the S21 and 4K 60 on the front. So fantastic. Both of these do really good and almost similar when it comes down to the camera quality. Uh, they're both really good at taking pictures and video. So let's get that straight. As far as zoom capabilities, they're gonna be way better on the Ultra just because of that periscopic telephoto lens than they are on the S21. As far as video goes, they both look fantastic. You're just getting more zoom quality over here on the Ultra over the S21. But they're both fantastic front facing cameras. Again, 4K, that's always good news and good to see on smartphones.
Going on and on over to the uh, speaker side, both of these do offer stereo speakers and both of them offer Dolby Atmos with a bunch of customization as far as auto, movie, music, and voice. And they both sound fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and lean more towards the Ultra just because these speakers are really damn loud. I was watching videos the other day and I literally had to turn this thing down just because it was so damn loud. And uh, the S21 sounds good too, but uh, it's not as loud as the 22 Ultra, but they're both fantastic and they're both really nice sounding, no issues whatsoever. No headphone jacks on either one of these, unfortunately. Uh, you do get Bluetooth 5.0 over here on the S21 and Bluetooth 5.2 over here on the Ultra. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the speaker quality and I'm gonna play a little bit of a sample on each one that way you get an idea of how each one of these sound. So what do you think of that? Uh, which one do you think sounded the best, the Ultra or the S21 uh, Plus? So as far as uh, Wi-Fi, the Ultra does have Wi-Fi 6E, and over here on the Plus, you get Wi-Fi 6, again with the Bluetooth 5.0 over here on the Plus, and Bluetooth 5.2 on the Ultra, USB Type-C 3.2 on the Ultra, and the same over here, USB Type-C 3.2 on the Plus. As far as uh, everything else goes, the uh, fingerprint sensors, like I said, they are ultrasonic, and I do find myself liking the Ultra more than the S21, just because it's more reliable and faster. Again, facial recognition on both of these as well. They both also support the Samsung DeX and the wireless DeX, so you can hook these up to a monitor or your computer and pretty much run it with your device, so that's fantastic. I don't use that a lot, but if it is there if you want to use DeX. Battery-wise, on the S21, you get a 4,800 milliamp hour battery, 25 watt fast charging, and you get a reverse wireless charging at 4.5 watts and wireless charging at uh, 15 watts over here on the S21. Going on over to the Ultra, you get a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 45 watt fast charging and 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging and again 15 watt wireless charging on the uh, ultra and i find the battery life um, is a little bit better on the ultra probably due to that larger battery the s21's battery life has never been really good it's always been just okay and kind of underwhelming for some reason but i do find that i am getting further along with the Ultra than I was with the S21. But both of them are fantastic. Large batteries, great uh, charging. You're gonna get faster charging speeds over here on the Ultra compared to the S21. But both of them are still gonna be all day phones. You're just gonna get a little bit more on the Ultra. As far as colors go on the Ultra, you do get the Phantom Black, White, Burgundy, and this is the green color. You also get a graphite red sky blue. Those were the exclusive colors. And on the 
S21 from last year, uh, you do have the option for Phantom Black, Phantom Silver, Phantom Violet, uh, Gold, and Red. So uh, I think the uh, colors on the new Ultra are really nice compared to last year. And they're both matte finishes, so they're gonna go ahead and hide fingerprints a little bit easier than a glossy finish. And they both feel fantastic. I love the build quality on both of these. I am gonna lean more towards the Ultra as far as it pretty much being the next Note device and just having that nicer uh, refresh styling. And I do love the camera layout on the Ultra over the S21 but still fantastic and they're both really nicely built devices. Of course, you get the S Pen on the Ultra as an added perk and you do get that uh, square design compared to the uh, more of a rounded design on the S series. But now that they pretty much merge the S with the Note, this is pretty much the next Galaxy S series. But to each his own, the Note is a big device and you do get those sharper corners compared to a more uh, nicer feeling on the S21 and the uh, as far as the build quality goes, but both of them are nice. You get a curved display on the Ultra and you get a flat display on the 21 Plus. So keep that in mind. Both have the same hole punch cutout, pretty much almost the same size as well. And both of them feel really nice in the hand. No issues whatsoever. Uh, I do think the uh, the volume buttons are a little bit higher up, especially on the S21. They're okay over here on the Ultra, but still fantastic devices, and you won't go wrong picking each one. Of course, it's going to be the more expensive over here. Well, you could probably find this on a good deal. When it first came out, it was $1,000. This being $1,200 now, so I'm pretty sure you could find a good deal on an S21. Um, or uh, S21 Plus from last year. So with that being said guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video of a spec comparison between the Galaxy S21 Plus and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So subscribe, like, and share. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, thumbs down if you didn't, that's quite all right. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.